On this video, we're going to cover how to set the hook when using these soft plastic jerk baits. And uh, growing up like me, I was a bass fisherman. I only knew just to jerk as hard as I possibly could. I grew up, you know, watching Bill Dance, uh, using just completely sometimes falling out of the boat, setting the hook, and that's not needed when you're using these soft plastic jerk baits and braided line. And I'll just give you an example. Um, so when you know when retrieving the line, in most cases the the bite will happen on the bottom of the twitch. You'll feel the thump. The worst thing you could do is just completely just jerk back, you know, a, a huge swing. It's just not needed because this braid has no stretch at all. So all you really need to do is just do a nice firm hook set and only do it when you feel a nice steady weight at the end of your line. Because in many cases, they might, it might be a couple redfish down there. The smallest one will bite at it, will thump at it. It won't have it all the way in its mouth. And if you just go completely rearing back, it's gonna pull it all the way out of there. It'll be completely unnatural and it'll spook all of them. Uh, and if you just do a nice gentle, you know, just a nice, just uh, firm pullback, in the cases where it doesn't set the hook, the fish will still be there. And most times they'll bite it again because it didn't spook them off. Uh, it was just their natural prey, just trying to get away from them. So again, as long as you don't overreact, just do a nice firm hook set only when you feel weight then you're not gonna spook things off. And, and the importance of only setting the hook when you feel weight is because a lot of times there's pinfish and just small fish down there that are nipping at it. And again, if you're just jerking on every single nip, you're gonna be spooking fish off. So only set the hook on steady weight and, uh, and make sure to not overreact. All right, so what we'll do next is I'll show you some footage of me on the water. You can see exactly you know, how the strike looks, exactly how I reacted. And on the cases where the, the fish didn't have it all the way in their mouth when I set the hook, you'll, you'll see that about two seconds later, the fish would bite again, and then I actually had them for good. Here is some head cam footage to see you know, what to do when you get a strike with a soft plastic jerk bait. And, and uh, watch the rod tip, because you'll see when the strike happens and, and then how the reaction is. So there I actually felt a strike. Uh, I did a, a hook set. It didn't take but I just, you know, I was calm. I let the rod tip go back down, the bait was sinking, and then as it was sinking, the, that snook hit again and I caught it. And, uh, and the same thing happens here. This was uh, a, a few casts later, and, and then again, I, I felt, you'll see pretty soon, that I feel, I feel a bump. So right there, I felt the bump. I didn't overreact because it wasn't firm weight. Uh, there I felt the weight. I did a hook set, it didn't pull, didn't, didn't set. And uh, again, I just remained calm, kept the retrieve, and then there it is. There, that was a, a nice fish. I had caught a lot of little rat reds before that, and I'm guessing those first ones were little small reds. And uh, this one was a nice, uh, it wasn't a huge one, but it was about, I, mean, I think it was a mid-slot, 23, 24 inches. Again, just a, a nice fish. And had I completely overreacted at the beginning, I probably would not have caught it. I'm sure I would have spooked all of them off. Um, this was just a couple casts later. Um, this one, the hook set, the very first time, which was uh, the case most of this day, just started with those, uh, those ones that didn't strike as hard. Um, a little bit nice redfish there. Uh, again, same exact retrieve, and this was the, you can see that same hole there. Um, that was a nice, uh, nice set on the on the first try, um, and that was another uh, another redfish, a little bit smaller there. And um, and just to show uh, that. It works on all species. Here is a trout that I caught maybe 30 minutes after that last redfish. Um, again, the same exact hook set. Uh, I don't don't have to completely um, set it like you're going to try to rip their rip them out of the water. Just a nice firm hook set is uh, is all that's needed. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet done so, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great tips going out on there every single week. More importantly, though, subscribe to our website, saltstrong.com. We have all of our best tips there, uh, have a lot of just a really cool newsletter with a lot of cool viral videos. So we know you're going to enjoy it, all free of charge, of course. And if, at any point, if you have any questions, just use the comment section down below. Thanks again. Hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that will give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today